I'm, I'm thrilled to have you here. I really am. This, this house symbolizes a lot. And so the, the house itself was built in the 1790s, but it was purchased in 1965 to be the governor's house. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that, it was a private home. And I just think, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that it's 2015 before anybody thought to do an iftar dinner here at this house. But I'm hoping that 2015 is, is the first year, and I hope it continues every year. I have just one more year in this house, and we will certainly uh, have it next year. But I am hopeful that it will continue. And I, and I expect, and I expect that it will uh, for a few different reasons. First of all, I think it is just it is a reflection of the importance and the increasing importance of the Muslim community in Delaware. A rapidly growing community. I tell you, when I went last year to the to the Eid um, celebration to see 4,000 uh, Muslims celebrating uh, or, or praying that day uh, was truly remarkable. And this is a you have become in a frankly a fairly short period of time a really important part of the fabric of our state, and that is only going to continue. And so I think for that reason alone, it would be a reason. But I think the reason to continue for a governor to continue to uh, host an iftar dinner at the, at the governor's house, it goes beyond that. And it goes really to the, to the issue that we talked about a few months ago uh, at, at your school, at the forum uh, around safety uh, for the members of your uh, community. You know, we live in a world where there continues to be a lot of tension, and we live in a world where there needs to be a lot of healing. And I think just as a, as a, a symbol of the, of the state's interest uh, in, in you know, keeping all of its people safe, uh, I, I am hopeful that, uh, that this dinner and uh, the fact that we are hosting you here is an indication of how important uh, we, we believe that is. And I also think that the, the timing of this, uh, to, do, to do this during, uh, to, obviously Iftar is connected to Ramadan, but to host you here during Ramadan and all that Ramadan represents and the, 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 the self-deprivation during the day to fast. And it's not just about the physical. It's about the self-discipline that it takes while you are challenging yourselves physically to be thinking about how we all, you know, make this world a better place. And I would like to think this is what we all have in common. Across countries, and I was really, I mean, it is amazing, I think it's incredible to hear all, in, in this, you know, here we are in Dover, Delaware, and frankly, you know, a small governor's house from many parts of Pakistan, nobody <laughs> wants to be anywhere other than in Lahore, uh, to India, to Bangladesh, to Turkey, to Jordan, to Sudan, uh, to Nigeria, to Philadelphia, to Dover, uh, and to, 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 to Bosnia, and, and to, 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 I think I said India, and, and elsewhere. I mean, it's just, it is... In Egypt. In Egypt. 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 Egypt and Syria. <laughs> Syria slash Poland. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's, it's important for us to, you know, to, to, to take a step back and to, to celebrate as a community and to, to recommit to each other uh, across, ge across geography, across religion, across different parts of the state uh, that were drawn here for a reason. And I was moved by what so many of you had to say about what a wonderful state Delaware is. And I'm yeah. glad that Naveed had the video going because I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that our economic development office can like purchase that video <laughs> and, uh, and put it out there so people can see what a great place Delaware uh, Delaware is, is to be. And so I just, I feel just absolutely blessed to have the opportunity to be in this job, uh, you know, now just for another year and a half. And the best part of, there are many wonderful parts of my job, but the, the knowledge that if I invite a group of community leaders to dinner and they will all come uh, is pretty special. And what it gives me, and, you know, in, in this case, is an opportunity to get to know uh, a group of people. I knew a few of you before. Michelle and I have known each other, and, and Zaffer, and 
Anas and uh, Naveed and Osman, uh, you know, and, and Dr. Khan, I've known many of you for a while, uh, but others of you I'm just meeting for the, for the first time. And uh, I hope that we have an opportunity to continue to build on this relationship. I hope you have the opportunity to build on the relationships that perhaps you're starting uh, tonight uh, for the first time. Because in the end, that's how we make progress. That is how we make progress, and that is why we are here. And what I, what I have a suspicion about is that this will, in fact, continue year after year. And there will be a time, and it's probably not in five years, but it might be in 15, or it might be in 25, or maybe it's 30, that there will be a governor who is standing where I am standing, and there will be a group of leaders from the Muslim community in Delaware who will be sitting where you are sitting. And there are a handful of you who are young enough now that you might be here then, uh, but it could be an entirely new group of people. And let's assume for a moment that it is. They will think that this is the ordinary. Because in their experience, it will have happened every year. And they're not going to know, and they're really not, they may not even think a lot about how this tradition gets started. But they'll know somewhere in the back of their mind that at some point, in some year, they don't know when, some group of community leaders decided it was time to gather here in the governor's house. I think they'll think that the governor will <laughs> Very well be your son. In fact, it, it could, it, we could bring, we could tie, tie a knot on this whole thing. And it, could, it could be your son or somebody else's son or one of your 22 grandchildren who is standing where I'm standing. Or daughters. And, uh, or what's that? Or daughters. Or yeah. And. Uh, I got four of them. One of them is ready. <laughs> so this is how, this is how it happens. And so I am just uh, really thrilled that you all. To come, thank you for uh, giving me the honor of hosting you here. I hope you have uh, a successful end. I, to to Robin, I am so sorry. This, it, it, this, I think it's next Friday. You said the yeah. yeah. I, I'll be I'll be out of town, so I will not be here this year. I hope next next year we'll be here again. I hope, I hope I'm there again. And Anas has one other thing he wants to say. No, I'm good. It's just, you know, I have one request for you. Yes. Can you please convey your sentiments to the next governor? Oh, I will. I will. In fact, in fact, I will tell you. Yes, yeah, sorry. But Senator Harper and Senator Coons and Congressman Carney, I invited, Anas really invited, all three of them to come tonight. And they all very much wanted to come. They really, Anas was telling me, they, they, he was working with their schedulers, but they had late votes in, in Washington, and it was just, they, they could not make it work. So. Please understand how interested they are, and um, and I have no doubt for all the reasons that I suggested, I will certainly communicate it to the next governor. But I think they will see it not only in their interest, but in the interest of the state, most mm -hmm. importantly, mm -hmm. uh, that we can, that we continue this tradition. Thank you. Thank you all very much.